Hello everybody, I'm on part two now of my actual pump drive. I shown you in part one where I made the uh, eccentric strap, but that's all finished now. I've just got to put the uh, oil gr oil hole in where where you feed it with oil. That's all I've got to do on that. So I've just got to put a. Uh, an oil an oil hole in there so I can uh, feed feed the bearing with oil and and today I'm on part two and I'm moving on to the uh, the tumbler I'm just going to zoom my camera out a fraction I'm moving on to this tumbler and I know it says in mild steel on the drawing here but I'm doing it in, in reverse I'm doing this in bronze and the strapping cast iron uh, as I explained in my last video, I've soldered two pieces of bronze together to, to give me one solid piece. And I've just put this in the lathe and skimmed the back face up and the top up so I can grip it in me in me in my choke. And how it's telling you to do it in this book is to first of all bore the hole out for the um axle, then make a dummy axle, then put the tumbler on the dummy axle and then offset it in your chuck to do the outside diameter. Well I'm not doing it like that. I've just got I've just got about an eighth of an inch to grip on and I'm gonna put my centre, my revolving centre up to that face when I've machined it, just just to keep it in position and I'm gently gonna cut a groove in and bring it down to its diameter and then put the groove in and I know I'm only gripping on an eighth so I'll have to be very careful well that'll save me making a dummy axle then when I've got the outside done I can put my four jaw in offset it and then bore the eccentric hole in for the axle so I'm going to carry on now machining this just skim it up and I'll, uh, I'll do an update at an appropriate stage Right, I've just took camera off at stand because I can't get quiet in to, to show you this but you can see how much I'm gripping on my chuck there it's only, it's less than an eighth uh, because I've limited for material I'm, I'm having to make do with this and what I'm going to do, rather than make a dummy axle and, and put grub screws in and hold it on a dummy axle I'm risking doing it gripping on that very slight bit of uh, chuck jaw and what I'm going to do, I'm going to now I've faced it up I'm just going to offer the centre up just to support the work the revolving centre like that just to support it and then I'm going to put my groove in with that with that parting tool there and the grooves a quarter inch wide and it's three thirty seconds in from this front edge and I've just got enough room to get me, me tooled outside at Jaws anyway watch this space and uh, I'll do you an update later I'm just trying to get a close up of, of me actually cutting this I'm not sure how close I can get though well, I've got my, my tool in now and I'm using my dials just to cut the groove uh, and basically I've got my centre revolving centre up to the face and it's just catching just so that the job do not move in the in the jaws because I'm only gripping on less than one eighth of an inch just taking light cuts this is nearly my finishing cut and what I've got to do now is dismantle this strap just show my artifaction I've just got to take this strap apart unbolt it and, and try it on the job 
Okay then I've managed to get the groove in with no catastrophes happening. I think the set, putting the centre on the face uh, helped me to do that. So bear that in mind. Anyway, the reason you have to make your strap first is because you've got to put the strap on in two halves and then bolt it on. And I've got everything down to size now. I've got this strap bolted on and it's a little bit tight but not too tight but what I'm going to do I'm going to run it in while it's still in lathe I'm just going to I'm going to put my tool up against it here and start the lathe up I don't know if you're going to be able to see this I'm just going to run this tool into that bolt head make sure nothing's catching and then start the lathe up and run it in and obviously when you're trying your strap on you must put some oil on or it'll, it'll never run free Let's see if I can get a better shot Just put me, touch my tool onto the bolt head, just to hold that strap. Just a minute. I think I'll just let that run for five minutes and run in, and then it'll be a nice fit. And then I've just got to turn, turn it round, face it off to length and diameter and then I've got to set it up again and put that offset hole in for the eccentric. I'll come back to that later. Okay then I've moved back over to my Myford lathe now. Uh, I've marked it, I've marked the hole off. It's 5 sixteenths from the actual centre of the tumbler from the centre point, 5 sixteenths in on the centre line and then I've scribed a line same as my me, um, me axles, 3 quarter diameter set up to that line and I've just centred it, I've just centre drilled it so all I've got to do now is open it up with a bigger drill bore it out to fit my axle then uh, we'll reconvene Right, just on the final cut, uh, give it a quick polish and with a bit of oil on the shaft should go in now. Yeah, that's okay. That's it. So all I've got to do now is um, put two grub screw holes at probably 30 degrees perhaps in this biggest portion of the tumbler there and there. Uh, I'm not quite sure what size they are on the drawing. Four, four BA. So I've just got to drill two 4BA holes in this tumbler into this centre hole to clamp it onto the um, the axle and then that's job done. Don't forget to put packing on, don't go and uh, damage your surface that you've already machined. Just watch that back edge scraping.
Right, so uh, I'll get back to you when I've uh, put the grub screw holes in and finally assembled it. Okay, then a, a quick update of me eccentric now. I've managed to get the the grub screws fitted, and I decided against against doing it at, at an angle because it wasn't going to give me a very good start on the end because of the angle. It wasn't going in straight, so I've decided to go straight from the top and put a small one in at the bottom, and I've used three sixteenths. Uh, BSW I tensile grub screws and then what I've done I've put a, a point on the grub screws so that when they're on the shaft just get it right way so that when they're on the shaft you can position it in the centre, screw your grub screws in and then they'll make a mark on the shaft and then take it off again and then just uh, put a drill in just a, a very short depth to take the point of the grub screw. That's not critical. That's it. So that grub screw at the bottom is going to line up with that hole and that one at the top is going to line up with that hole there making sure that they go into that little recess that one's in that one's in and you need to make sure that they're buried under under that journal surface like that now just just briefly on going on to the drawing on the drawing it says to put the eccentric at 45 at its highest lift at 45 degrees to both the cranks I'm not sure why, why that is but that I have done it that way I don't I don't know if it really matters or not but um, I can't imagine where it's going to matter where, wherever it goes but I've done what it says put it at 45 degrees on, on the largest part of the throw at 45 degrees to where the cranks will be set that's just a just a point to bear in mind. So I've just got to I've just got to fit the strap now, and then I can get my other set other wheel position. Then when I line my cranks up, now this is on. I had to get that on first. I'll just put the strap on and we'll we'll have another look. Right, I've got the strap fitted now. Um, when I finally fit this, I will put locking nuts on here. They're just on, uh, just for time being. And that's spinning lovely. That. Right. So. That's it then, uh, that's that's end of that little part. Um, I can now put my other wheel on this side when I come to um, set the cranks up. And then the connecting rod for the pump fits onto this part and that will be doing that. Okay then, uh, that's end it. Axle pump drive then. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you on my next video then. Bye for now then.